Drive to Survive, one of the most popular series on Netflix, the Netflix editors release a trailer of 30 seconds long for this new season. In this video, I will explain interesting things about this trailer and some tricks the video editors of Netflix are making to manipulate our brains. A lot of secrets that I'm gonna reveal in this video. This is the trailer, let's watch it and analyze. To be a Formula One driver. The first image we see is Lewis Hamilton. Why they pick Lewis Hamilton instead of any of the 19 drivers of the Formula One grid? Because obviously Lewis Hamilton is the most famous driver, actually. Seven times Formula One world champion. He's not only involved in Formula One, he's involved in fashion, in music. He has fans in every single country of the world. If you are not a Formula One fan and you watch this trailer, there's more chances you recognize Lewis Hamilton than any other driver. To be a Formula One driver. We can see Lando Norris, the McLaren Formula 1 driver. It looks he's seeing this footage that is Monaco from the plane. It's a fake montage. Norris is not watching Monaco from the plane. Anyway, it makes sense. It's convincing. Not only in Drive to Survive. In a lot of trailers, the editors make this kind of fake montage. It's a good technique to pick two different clips that are not related, but it makes sense put together, you know? You need to be able to switch yourself off. It have some kind of reverb effect. This effect was create, to create the sensation that this voice is sounding in the debris mind. Normally when you want to create some kind of reminder or memory effect in a video, you generate this kind of reverb sound effect in the audio tracks. From everything that is happening around you. Can you listen the ting sound effect? This sound effect is sounding from the beginning of the trailer. To be a Formula 1 driver. Ting. To be a Formula 1 driver. Entity. Your position is under threat. Dun, the drama. Dun, returns. This is a super technique in every kind of trailer to maintain your attention high. This kind of sound effects is like an alert sound for our brain. Like something is happening. Every time they put this kind of sound effect, our brain attention rises up. They are making it a lot of time so we are constantly rising up our brain attention you cannot make this in a very long video imagine 60 minutes long and every 30 seconds listening this kind of sound effect Potentially. it will be crazy and at the end the effect will be reduced drastically because the brain accustomed to it and the first time is much more effective than the third time this is a super technique to combine sound effects and text on a screen. So every time you synchronize some kind of sound effect with text in, on the screen, the message is much more powerful for our brain. Physically, mentally. Physically, mentally. If you are enjoying this video, please, thumbs up. Thank you so much. The drama. This is something that was very criticized by Formula 1 fans. Part of the Formula 1 community hate this series because they say that they create fake drama in the montage process of the episodes. But obviously the Drive to Survive editors knows what they have to create because the target is not only Formula 1 fans, it's people that is a potential. Formula 1 fan. They are attracting a lot of people that have no idea about Formula 1 to Formula 1. It is good, it is right in that way. I'm not judging that in this video. I'm explaining why they are doing it. Formula 1 is brutal. I like so much this one. When he makes the move to hit the ball, it's a sound of a car crashing, something like that, you know? And it's combined with this image. That is George Russell last season, he was fighting for the win in that race and he lost it in the last lap because he touched the wall and crashed. He was so furious with himself for making that mistake that he started to hit his car in that way, you know? This sound is fake. I like how they play with these sound effects to make much more interesting this trailer and much more immersive. When you get into that car... This is, for me, a masterpiece. It's about sound effects. This guy, I don't know who he is actually. He's splashing water because he drops from the boat to the sea. Car. Once he will start to touch the water, the splash sound is combined with this fire extinguisher sound effect, and it's similar. And shoom, the splash effect is, is transformed in a fire extinguisher effect. That car. And this final whoosh effect is kind of 
that is named uh, whoosh sound effect creates a different effect in our brain some kind of alert but in a different way it's not so picky it's not so extreme as the previous effect this whoosh effect is increasing every time in our brain what produces more attention gradually it's like something is gonna happen <laughs> The noise goes away. As you can see in 35 seconds trailer, the amount of elements, the amount of sounds you can play with, the way you play with the images are super important to create something attractive for the viewer. These are the techniques you need to create a good trailer at the end. It's not about visuals or graphics. It's how you build the process to keep watching the spectator from the start until the end of the video. My name is Dani Lozano, I am an independent Formula 1 video editor and content creator that is creating videos, edits, documentaries about Formula 1 during the last 10 years, reaching more than 20 million views on my main YouTube channel Plus by Dani Lozano. I hope you enjoyed this analysis, I'm making much more videos about video editing and Formula 1, I recommend you to go to watch more videos, see you very very soon in the next video, bye bye.